Not too long ago we reviewed the Court Eric NJS4 in white on this channel and today we have the black 5 string version. That means we can put a lot of focus on the B string, so let's do that. Except in the intro for some reason. <laughs> Hi loveliest people of the internet, welcome to my little bass dungeon called Bass the World. My name is Gregor Fries and on this black NJ is 5 we have my buddy Lars Lehmann today. This bass is a collaboration between Master Lufia Rob Elric and Chord Guitars, the kings of affordable quality instruments. The NJS is based on Rob's new jazz standard basses but of course sits in a completely different price range. But first things first, let's finally hear the B string. This 5 string comes with a very comfy 48mm width at the nut and an 18mm string spacing at the bridge. I appreciate that a lot. Most 5 string basses from Chord come with a rather narrow spacing at the bridge and here, at least to me, it feels a little bit more natural. There are many features that set these basses apart from standard jazz bass designs. I've covered this extensively in the NJS4 video which I highly recommend to check out as well. But the most special feature of these basses is their pickup spaces. They are closer together than the most 60s or 70s spaces we get to see on most other bases in this style. The good news is this actually works very well, especially in combination with the built-in Bartolini 3-band EQ. And now let's hear another example very B-string heavy with a modern clear slap bass tone. The NJAS5 comes with a 35 inch scale. That means it's a little bit longer, which helps massively to make sure the low B has enough power and clarity. And yes, this works out very well. Now let's have a quick run through the specs. And since you can see every little detail in these 4K close ups, I want to mention that this is not a new instrument, it's a showroom bass. Fresh out of the box, it will of course look flawless. So, specs. The NJS has an older body, a 3 piece maple neck with 24 frets plus 0 fret and a 12 inch fretboard radius on the hard maple fretboard. The neck is bolted on with 6 screws, the tuners are hipshot ultralights, the bridge is a so called Metalcraft M5 which I like a lot. It's solid and has quick access features for setups and string changing. The pickups were made especially for this bass and there's even a bone nut. There's no 35 inch scale 5 string test without a high gain sound sample, at least there shouldn't be. So let's did it as Lars likes to say. <laughs> We've got all the crowns covered, so let's move on to the less obvious features of the NJS5. There are block inlays, yay, and the neck feels comfortable and smooth as hell. I also love how they angled the headstock to make sure the string tension on the nut is perfect. And look at the string alignment towards the tuners, someone did their homework, this is all perfect. The NJS is a bass for all styles of music, it doesn't matter if you play funky, metal, pop, rock or even solo bass stuff. <laughs> I love the 4 string and the fiver is no different. They did an amazing job with these and if you consider their prices on the market, I'm assuming they will easily sell truckloads of these bases. Well done Rob, well done Cord. Really great job, I love it. And if you want to get one of those for yourself, please check the links in the video description below. We are working with a bunch of different dealers here in Europe, in the UK and also in the US and if you order these bases or anything else through these links, they pay us a little kickback which really help to keep this channel running. If you decide to do that, thank you very much. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and see you again in a few days with another bass review here on Bass The World. Bye bye!
space world.